to do. Um, so this is obviously showing up in our weekly challenge this week. Um, so the first thing that we're going to start off with is obviously a warm up because we want to get the body nice and warm and ready to rock and roll. The first thing that we're going to start off with, I'm obviously not going to demonstrate this one, but you can go for a fast walk uh, or a run around your block. If that's not an option, then what you can do is just go for a bit of a run on the spot uh, and going for that for about one minute should get you nice and warm. Uh, then we're going to move into a hip opener with rotation. So this one, the position that you're getting into is a bit of a lunge. If you can't get down here, it's also okay for you to put your hands on, say, a chair and just go into generally that position uh, as deep as your hips will allow. So if you can get to the ground, you're going to go hands down to the ground as much as you can and then turning into that side, reaching up as high as you can and then you're going to drop your elbow down as low as you can. So it's going to be one, drop down two, and you're going to do five on each side for that one. So that's our first little movement. Then you're going to move into shoulder taps. So while we're down here, we can just switch into this position here, so like a push up. Bring your feet into a position where you feel like you're not going to flip over and you've got a little bit of control. Um, and then from there, we're going to tap to the opposite shoulder. Again, making sure that we don't twist the body and turn the hips on the way through. You want to stay nice and square with the floor, using those abs and the shoulders to really keep you in a solid position as you take the hand off the floor there. And that'll get your core nice and warm and your shoulders nice and warm there too. The next thing that we're going to do is we're going to flip onto our back. And we're going to move into a hip bridge. So getting that tummy nice and switched on from there, driving through the heels, bum comes up in the air, and then slowly bring it all the way back down. Again, keeping that core nice and solid so we move all as one. Big squeeze through the glutes at the top there without hyperextending the back. Just nice big squeeze through the glutes and that'll get your um, bum and all the back of your legs nice and warmed up and this one you're going to go for 10 on these all right with this we're going to be shooting for two rounds three rounds if you just want a little bit more of a warm-up to get you ready to rock and roll all right so that is the warm-up for this one all right so our 20 minute AMRAP what that involves is First up, we've got 20 star jumps. So I know many of you have probably done star jumps before, but so we're gonna jump into it so you're either going straight out, straight in. If that's too high impact for you, you can just step it out and just take your time on those. So that one's 20 star jumps and that's 20 each side. If you're gonna be going on the, on the easier one. Otherwise, for the higher intensity one, it's just 20 in total. Then we're going to move on to sumo squats. So we're going to pop our feet nice and wide, turning the feet outwards. And from there, you're going to sit your bum straight down, making sure that when we do sit down, that you've got your knees nice and stacked on top of your ankles. You don't want them to be dropped inwards. You want to be really using your butt muscles to be driving those knees away from each other. All right, and that's your sumo squat. So we're gonna be doing 18 sumo squats. Again, just stick with the range that feels like, hey, if you have any knee issues, um, and that should be good to go. Then we've got mountain climbers. So you've got 16 mountain climbers, and this one's gonna be on each side. So we've got hands under the shoulders, in that push-up position, body nice and straight from the shoulders to the heels. And from here, you're gonna bring it in, nice quick change over there all right and again this is a lower impact version of this one which is just bringing it down to stepping it in just like that all right then we're going to move on to some lunges so we're making our way back up and this is 14 each side now you've got a little option on this one if you want to move and step back for your lunge and alternate you can do that otherwise if you find it easier to stabilize being on one side, then you can just stay on that lunge there. 
All right, so that's the lunges. Then we're moving on to push-ups. So 12 good old push-ups. Now this one again, if you're not great at push-ups, it's not really your forte. Again, you can just bring it down a level, down to knees from this one. Cool, so just bringing yourself as close to the floor as you can, making sure when you come down that your elbows are stacked on top of your wrists. We're not getting that big flaring of the elbows because the shoulders don't really like that position very much at all. So that's our push-ups. Again, on toes or on knees is your option on that one. Then we've got heel taps. So we're gonna be jumping onto a bit of core work. So you're onto your back. From here, crunching up, reaching to the heel. And each side is, uh, sorry, it's gonna be uh, on each side, we're gonna be going for the 10 heel taps. So, and one, and two, so on and so forth. Then, you're gonna round out one round with a run around the block. And again, if you want to, uh, if you don't have the opportunity to run around the block, that doesn't really work for your living situation, uh, then what you can do is again, just do a minute jog on the spot, or if you really want to level it up, you can go for a minute of burpees um, if you really want to challenge yourself on that one. So that one is 20 minute AMRAP, as many rounds as possible. I highly recommend writing this down on a piece of paper or a whiteboard if you have it um, available, uh, just so that you can keep a track, because as we all know, throughout a workout, our memory does often fade. So uh, keeping that as a bit of a visual is always helpful. So there you go, guys. That is your 20 minute AMRAP workout for this week. So I hope that it really challenges you and you find that one enjoyable. Uh, and remember guys, challenge yourself, but please make sure that you stay safe uh, and take care out there.